Hi everybody, this is Coach McCurry from Baseball by the Yard. Uh, today's tip involves the footwork for a second baseman who's going to be starting a double play with either an underhand flip to the shortstop or a backhand flip to the shortstop. Either way, the footwork is basically the same. I'll talk about the mechanics of actually how to underhand it and how to backhand the ball a little bit later. But today's tip involves just the footwork. And like I've said many times before, if you can get the footwork down as an infielder, generally everything flows from there and you become a much better fielder if you can just improve your footwork. Well, let me start off by saying that in just about every case as an infielder, the last two steps before I catch the baseball are always going to be right foot and then left foot. And after that left foot lands, then I catch the ball. So it's right foot, left foot, catch. There are a couple exceptions to that, um, but for the most part, that is gonna be true on just about every ground ball. Now, uh, the reason for that, uh, like I've probably said in my post a number of times, where if I leave with my right foot, and then I put my left foot down, you can see that my momentum is already heading towards first base before I catch the ball. Now there's more to it than that in terms of an explanation, and if you search my blog uh, for shortstop footwork, you'll get some more details about that. But for today, we're gonna to talk about the footwork to second base. Now I started with that right foot, left foot process on a normal ground ball, because it's gonna be the opposite on a ball to second base. Remember the premise of starting your footwork and going right foot, left foot was to generate some momentum towards first base before I even catch the ball. This stepping with my left foot before I catch shifts my momentum to first base. Well in this case here, I'm not throwing the first base. I'm throwing the second base in either an underhand or a backhand. So it wouldn't make sense for me to approach the ground ball like I normally would where I would go right foot and left foot because when I'm catching the ball, my momentum is heading away from second base. It's heading towards first base. So in this case, a second baseman is going to reverse that. They're gonna lead with the left foot, then land with the right foot, and then give their underhand toss or backhand toss to the shortstop. So again, if I'm going to first base, it's right foot, left foot, catch, and I continue moving towards first base. If I'm going to do the underhand toss or backhand toss a second, I lead with my left foot first, left foot, right foot, and then I can do my underhand toss or left foot, right foot, and I can do the backhand toss to second base. So it cuts down on my footwork and it also allows my momentum to be traveling towards my target before I catch the ball. So if you're heading to first base, right foot, left foot. If you're giving a little toss to second base, it's left foot, right foot, and that continues my momentum directly to the target.